Hey, I'm Justin Bobby in the band Bobby Rock. Bobby Rock means to me, it's almost a play on words from this TV show, The Hills on MTV. Um, the character is Justin Bobby. And um, it was kind of a play on. Um, Bobby kind of stuck with me. It's my middle name, which is Robert. And um, I was tattooing a friend of mine. And actually, you know, some of the shows I played in as a drummer, uh, they would say, Bobby, you rock. And uh, that kind of stuck. I can give you birds and bees. I can get you birds and bees. I can get you birds. Early, uh, early adolescence, four, five, and six, I was on guitar, violin, harmonica, um, and then early teens was drums, and then uh, singing became later on my first band. I was singing backups, and that's how I started singing. Um, I describe Bobby Rock's music style as a little bit, it's like a little bit more backstreet punk and grungy. Um, takes us forever to record because the click, you know what I mean? We're kind of, we got that sloppy, on point um, rock vibe to us. Um, I'd say it's modern punk rock, if you ask me. I mean, I'm not hearing it around, which sucks because it makes it hard for us to tour with bands. And the story behind our singles is we just came out with our first acoustic. Uh, album, which I thought was a necessary. Uh, I thought it was very necessary just because you have two or three albums. And this isn't just in Bobby Rock. I've had other albums with other bands and drumming and stuff, so it was nice to just quiet it down a bit and just play acoustic guitar and let maybe some people that don't really know your sound maybe get to hear some vocal, vocal remedies from you and uh, some guitar licks that they wouldn't normally hear that's kind of sacrificed for them the music's sake. So we have singles out now. We're doing a TV show on the hills uh, for MTV and they're showing our singles so we think it's a good time to just not deal with a shit ton of music and production and attitudes and all the stuff that comes with rock and roll. So singles are a little bit easier right now. We're gonna see how they go. And one's called uh, Where the Drugs At, which just aired on MTV. And uh, we have another one called Surf's Up and then in a bind. Drawing inspiration for these songs is, I've said before, it's just life. Um, we've all been shit kick, kick canned and we've been torn up and beat up and I pull it from the negative part of that and try to make it like a maniacal, punny, uh, oxymoron kind of vibe where it's kind of neither here nor there and jokey, furry and slips. Um, for me, it's early punk shows to CCNR to rap to Ray Orbison to Bruce Springsteen to Tom Petty to like Bad Brains and Offspring. Um, and then house, I mean, house music. And if you listen to a lot of our music, we have like build ups, and I try to go extra like 4, 8, 16 beats just to build up because I'm, I'm an old house kid. I love them. I loved electronic music for a long time, so we try to implement that. Let me see them. What would I give to an independent artist trying to make it in the music industry? There's a lot. <laughs> There's just so much. I feel like you can't take everything to heart, but you want to love the people you work with immensely. So it's a double. It's a double entendre. You, I've loved my musicians, I worked with so much that I was willing to change the name, change where I lived, um, sleep on couches, I've slept in I've slept in basements in New Jersey for years, or half a year, and then North Jersey for a year, and I've moved all around the country, I've moved to different countries just in search of the perfect fit, and a lot of it has to be from you too, if you're willing to put up with somebody, live with them, be a part of them, to make it work. Um, you can't give up and you have to stay true to your craft. Uh, I've had musicians bail on the road, on tour, that left me hanging with 20 dates left and I've had to call the booking agents and be like, the rest is an acoustic series or acoustic shows. You just keep going and you don't stop and it will hinder you because you become a little bit like 
muted by it and you become dull and numb with people and when the right people are there it'll show you that, it, that it's right and it means well. Um, pay attention in your gut, your gut will tell you what's right and wrong, but most people want, want, the, they want it so bad, the rock and roll so bad, that they forget who they are, what the music's about, and uh, they'll just take anybody on. So I would say there's a feeling, even right now I have two feelings with drummers, and you get tells with bands, and you get tells with musicians that it's a not a good fit, and then you find yourself up six, eight months down the road with somebody that you shouldn't have been with. So stay true to your rock and roll heart, stay punk rock, stay loyal, stay true to the music, keep pushing out music, get on social media, invite friends and fans. You can't stop. So, yeah, come to shows. I think we're, we're, we're a dying breed where if you're not in a festival, people don't come out to certain shows. I think um, your, rootsy, your rootsy crew will come out, but to get to the masses, like, you gotta I think go support music, go be about it, because I think once you're there, after you put on your leathers and you like get your tickets and stuff like that, because it's an issue nowadays. Now you gotta get Ubers and whatnot. People don't really just, they'd rather stream it online. So I would say stay rootsy and go see live music and it'll benefit you in more ways than one. So keep coming out to shows. You'll go home with something new. Vergeworthy, you're awesome. I saw you guys online. You speak, you speak highly of us. We appreciate it. You guys are punk rock in my mind, so thank you. Mm -hmm.